I have the mayor of Canmore with me this morning, Andrew. Uh, thanks for that. John, John Borrowman, thank you for coming in. Ted, uh, it's my pleasure. Thank you for uh, your whole town hosting us today. We've met so many Canmoreites, mm -hmm. and uh, we've been treated very, very well. We appreciate that. Yeah. Um, and you're saying that... Um, we were talking before we came on camera here, the June floods, you're saying there's always been a great sense of community in the town of Canmore. That's but right. after the June floods, the recovery from that brought people even closer together. Absolutely. We have a, an even stronger sense of community here in Canmore now. And, and the floods did bring people together and, and how the communities rallied and rebuilt and uh, gone out of their way to help each other. It's, there's, there's such a spirit of uh, friendship in Canmore now. It's great. That's a support, too, is a word I've heard a lot from people as we've been walking around town. Absolutely. People were out in droves looking for something to do. I need to help. I need to help. And almost to the detriment of the emergency workers. But <laughs> it's part of small town life. It's, yeah. it's really wonderful. Yeah. And, and where do we go from here? How, how like Canmore, I mean, we're wide open right here in the town. You can mm. come down. To, Christmas in Canmore is on right now. Yeah. Christmas come down, Canmore. spend some money, spend a weekend or two. I mean, that's kind of the message we've been hearing as well. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, it was a little different here than in other parts of southern Alberta because sure. it was over in four or five days once the rain stopped, the flood stopped. So we were rebuilding right away and, and uh, the businesses were ready to, to see people come back uh, within a couple of weeks of the flood. So um, we're the we're same as we ever were prior to the flood and, and things are great. The weather's beautiful, lots going on, as you say, Christmas in Camor, uh, Winter Carnival, there's late night shopping, there's the skating Winter on Games the pond. The Alberta are coming in February. They're coming in February, so there's lots going on right now. It's an exciting place to be. Uh, you're a busy guy helping lead the town of Canmore. You're also an artist, and we have some of your pottery here. Mm -hmm. uh, beautiful bowl, teapot, and, and what's the what's the object with the cork well, in the, the top? Well, uh, the is is a design that my daughter and I, my daughter uh, runs the pottery now. I'm the mayor. I'm not yeah. there. Uh, it's a travel mug, and they're designed oh. to hold your liquids, and it's got a cork in the top. <laughs> and you, we, we designed that five or six years ago and shipped them all across North America now, actually. Very good. Yeah. Very good. How did you shift from being an artist to a mayor? Slowly. <laughs> okay. Was, was there, you just wanted to get involved with your community well, type thing? Well, small town. I've been here 40 years, and okay. you just, every, you know, you, you get more and more involved, and one step leads to another and suddenly I wake up and I'm uh, <laughs> You're mayor. elected mayor. Yeah. <laughs> there you Who'd go. Thunk? Um, uh, for people in Calgary and anywhere in southern Alberta within our broadcast area, they're thinking about coming to Canmore for Christmas in Canmore. What can they expect? They can expect to have a lot of fun. The weather is going to be mild. We're going to have a lot of snow. There's going to be a lot of activity on Main Street. So they can expect the best time of their lives. Good stuff. John Borman, the mayor of the town of Canmore, thank you again so much for hosting us. We've really enjoyed our time this morning. We have a couple more things to cover before we say goodbye this morning for the weekend. Thanks again, John. My pleasure, Ted. You're watching Breakfast Television this morning, live from Elevation Place in Canmore on City.